And I was really baffled the first time I saw Zulu. I had heard so much about Zulu. And then to see them in those uh, Afro wigs, the grass skirts, and the black face, I said, what the hell is this? Zulu Social Aid and Pleasure Club has had a tradition all of these years of having their members uh, paint their faces black. There is a requirement that parading organizations actually mask in order to parade. Zulu members don't wear masks, they actually paint their faces to satisfy the masking requirement. Anybody who knows the history of blackface knows that that is one of the most important symbols of white supremacy. And uh, this was done to ridicule and mock black people. For us to do that to ourselves and then try to defend it, given the current background, I mean, they are asking governors to resign over uh, past usage of blackface. And yet we have here in New Orleans people arguing for an, an exception for Zulu. So after people in New Orleans began talking about this, Zulu Club issued a press release that said that their costuming is not the same as the minstrel shows that featured performers in blackface over the last couple of centuries. And they also said that their members don't wear blackface, but that their members actually use black makeup. And that strikes me as a distinction without much of a difference. You know, I bought into some of the uh, arguments before that uh you know, uh, black folk couldn't mask, they were mocking uh, Carnival. And let me say, most African Americans from out of town, they don't buy that at all. So it's a time for us to revisit, are these images actually elevating black folk in a particular type of way? Or are they in some sort of ways holding it back? Some traditions are bad traditions. So the world changes. And we have to be in tune with what's happening in the world. And I come to think of Zulu and their costuming in a similar way as I think of the use of the N-word within the black community. You have some people who emulate it and they think we have appropriated it. We can use it in various types of ways as a term of endearment because we know our complexity. But it's off limits for people who are non-black. Should it be something that, say, white Zulu members should not partake in? Or is it one of those instances in which it completely has to be transformed or revisited in the 21st century in the same ways in which we're visiting the monuments to the Confederacy. I don't know what's going to happen with Zulu's tradition, but whatever Zulu decides, I think it needs to be reiterated that that doesn't mean that anybody else should be doing blackface. 365 other days of the year, our blackface is the one we're born with. And it's usually good enough. <laughs>